Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Liverpool University. Today we will show you a quick how to play for Lost Lights. So hopefully you get a flavour for how this game plays. Coming up. a lot of how to play, live playthrough videos and more. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of when we post new videos. Now let's get to the table. Lost Lights is a quick playing two player area control game set in a magical and animalistic kingdom. It was designed by Julius Sue and published by Board Game Circus. The game plays two players competitively in 15 to 25 minutes and is of light complexity. In this video, we're showing you a prototype copy of the game, so the art, rules and components may not be final. A dark essence looms over the animal world of Amanar, the likes of which the creatures who dwell within it had never seen. The benevolent magic which normally enveloped the land had been replaced by something darker, turning the animals against each other. Affected as they were, the animals took up arms against each other in pursuit of, or in defense of, the dark magics. Lost Lights is a quick area control game played in two parts, a card draft and a battle. During the card draft, players draft five pairs of cards from the game's selection of cute animal warriors, trying to get a good mix of strengths, action points and battle abilities. Then the battle begins. A turn then comprises one player playing a card from hand and spending that many action points either adding new crystals onto the map in areas that are already held or moving a group of crystals into a neighboring area. If a player enters an opponent's area then a battle ensues. Each player chooses one card simultaneously, battle abilities on the chosen cards are resolved, then rolls dice equal to the number of crystals they have in that battle. And then players sum their strength their highest die rolled, and their number of crystals in the battle. The winner captures the area, and the loser's crystals from that area are removed. This process of turns and battles continues until either one player is wiped off the map, or until the players are out of cards. At the end of the game, each crystal scores two points if it is in a larger region where the player controls at least two of the three sub areas, or one point otherwise, and the player with the higher score wins. With only 10 cards in hand, this is a quick little game encouraging players to move fast to gain their advantages. Battles come down to a mix of tactical position and card play. High strength cards have weaker battle abilities. The numbers advantage in a battle can be decisive when the weaker player rolls low, but several cards have battle breaking abilities which can completely nullify an opponent's specific advantage. And so the cat and mouse game that players can play, especially when they know the five cards they handed to their opponents during the draft, is key to eking out the strongest position in the battle. The game is run and done inside 20 minutes and so even if you get heavily defeated, it's very quick to play again and get some vengeance. And that's our quick how to play for Lost Lights. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video or find this video useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to us. You can also do that by hitting the meeple in the corner and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll know when we have new and exciting videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. And finally, if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. Until next time.